beautiful people, all praises to the Most High. So the Father wants me to explain this to you, and he wants me to read Numbers 16 and 21 to 27, and Numbers 16 and 29 to 35, to judgments on the houses of such who engage in these practices and provoke God to anger. So he wants you to know why people are losing their houses and their cars and all their, their businesses and their possessions in floods and wildfires because they're doing they're they're practicing the things that provoke God to anger and judgments here. So it's judgment on the houses of those who provoke God to anger. And he wants me to read the story that happened in Numbers and I'm gonna read it for you and then I'm gonna go and tell you the things that he says the things that are provoking him to anger, why judgment are falling on people's houses and they're losing their cars and they're losing their houses, they're losing their business, they're losing their possessions. God's judging them, as you can see. Um, so let me read it quickly, numbers. So, okay. And to separate yourself from among people who are engaging in these practices because the judgment will fall on you. All right? Now, this is Numbers 16 and 21. Separate yourselves from among this congregation that I may consume them in a moment. So God is telling you, separate yourself from people engaging in the practices that I'm going to go into. I'm just reading this first. If you're engaging in these practices, are you, you're around people engaging in those practices, separate yourselves from them because God's going to consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, and will thou be wroth with all the congregation? And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from among the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abram. And Moses rose up and went unto Dathan and Abram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spoke unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch none of their th nothing of theirs, lest you be consumed in all their sins. So those are accursed things. Don't even touch wicked man's things or you'll get cursed. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abraham on every side. And Dathan and Abraham came out and stood in the door of their tents and their wives and their sons and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby you shall know that the Lord has sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die in common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, this is what God wants you to know, why you should separate from wicked people. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up with all that appertains unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then you shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. So this is why he wanted me to read this to you because people are doing the things that provoke God to anger and that is why judgments falling on their houses, their cars, even their even them and their children too. He will reward their bosom, even in their bosom for how wicked they've been. And it came to pass as he had made an end of speaking all of these words that the ground clave asunder that was under him and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and all the men that appertained unto Korah and all their goods. They and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed upon them and they perished from among the congregation. So, God wants you to know that separate from the wicked at this point because he's judging them and because they provoke him to anger. Judgment on the houses of such who engage in the practices, in these practices and provoke God to anger. God wants you to understand why people are losing their houses, cars, businesses, belongings, and possessions. Also, why some are losing their lives. It's because of the things they commit that provoke God to anger. Please repent if you are doing these things to provoke God to anger. Fornication and whoredom, sex without wedlock, Ezekiel 16 and 26. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors sleeping around with other nations great of flesh and has increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger 
So people are dying and are being judged by God for doing the things that provoke him to anger. So fornication and whoredom, whorelitry, provoke God to anger. Not obeying God's voice, obedience, provokes God to anger. People are losing their lives for these things. Jeremiah 25 and 7. Yet he wants you to know why people's houses are getting washed away, their business, why they're getting judged. Because they're practicing the things that provoke him to anger just like the story he had me just read for you in numbers those people they provoked god's anger you're provoking god's anger doing these things so he has the scriptures to show you the things that um you're doing to provoke him to anger jeremiah 25 and 7 yet you have not hearkened unto me says the lord that you might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt so not obeying him and the works of your hands, evil inventions, provoke God to anger. Your tongue, things you say against God, and your deeds provoke God to anger. Isaiah 3 and 8. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue, their tongue, the stuff they say about God, and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. They provoke God to anger idolatry serving other gods and burning incense to them you provoke god to anger jeremiah 44 and 3 because of their wickedness which they have covet committed to provoke me to anger and that they went to burn incense and to serve other gods whom they knew not neither they yeah nor your fathers that provokes god to anger jeremiah 25 and 6 and go not after other gods going after other gods provokes god to anger to serve them and to worship them and worship in them and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands and i will do you no hurt this is why people are dying because they're doing the things that provoke god to anger and he told them not to do those things that provoke him to anger 2 kings 17 and 11 and there they burnt incense in all the high places and did the heat as did the heathen whom the Lord carried away before them and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. 2 Kings 22 and 17, because they have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods that they might provoke me to anger. Burning incense to other gods, you provoke God to anger. Judgment will be upon you and your house with all the works of their hands. Therefore, my wrath your his wrath burning incense to other god god's wrath shall be kindled against this place and you shall and it shall not be quenched so he wants to know when judgment falls on you and your house and your cars and your businesses and your children you know why it's because they've been engaging in the things that provoke him to anger and judgment fell on them um jeremiah 11 and 17 for the lord of hosts that planted thee has pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel and the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger and offering incense unto Baal, offering incense to idols. So that's the vanity. Vanity provokes God to anger. You can get ketchup in his judgment. So he just made me go to the stuff that provoke him to anger. It's almost done. It's almost done. And why are people are losing their houses, their businesses, their cars, and their homes? And some are even losing their lives. 1 Kings 16 and 26 For he walks in all the ways of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and in his sin wherewith he made Israel to sin, to provoke the Lord to anger with their vanities. Your vanities, your vanities, your material goods, and all your nonsense. That provokes God to anger. Vanities provoke God to anger. You could get ketchup in the judgment. And then another furthermore scripture to prove that deuteronomy 32 and 21 they have moved me to jealousy with that which is not god they have provoked me to anger with their vanities and i will move them to jealousy with those who are not the people i will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation now the we're almost done enchantments astrology observing times witchcraft sorcery magic fortune telling psychic readings divination necromancy that provokes god to anger 2 kings 21 and 6 and he made his sons pass through the fire and observed times and use enchantments and dealt with familiar spirits and wizards he wrought much wickedness in the sight of the lord to provoke him to anger 
that stuff provokes God to anger. Observing times, using enchantments, dealing with familiar spirits and wizards and witches. And that you wrought much wickedness in the sight of God to provoke him to anger. And judgments falling on the people who are doing the things that provoke God to anger. So I'm telling you what is making me tell you what it is. So you can repent from them and judgment don't fall on you. And 2 Kings 17, 17. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire and use divination and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. So divination, enchantments, those stuff provoke him to anger. And the, he is judging the things that provoke him to anger. 2 Chronicles 33 and 6. And he caused the children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Also, he observed times and used enchantments and used witchcraft and used witchcraft and dealt with familiar spirits and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. So doing witchcraft, dealing with familiar spirits, observing times, enchantments, those provoke God to anger and judgment will be upon you and your house. Now, evil food and drink offerings and sacrifices to idols that provokes God to anger. Jeremiah 7 and 18, the Children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger. Setting up places for idols, worship temples and high places, etc. Worship in temples, high places, and so. 2 Kings 23 and 19. And all the houses, also of the high places that were in the cities of Samaria, which the king of Israel had made to provoke the Lord to anger. So high places they set up to provoke God to anger. Josiah took away and did to them according to all the acts that he had done in Bethel. Now Jeremiah 44 and 8. In that you provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, whether you be gone to dwell, that you might cut yourselves off, that you might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. Now, cocaine, he wants you to know drugs, cocaine, crack, and violence. This provokes God to anger. When you do cocaine, when you do crack, and when you do violence, you provoke God to anger and judgment will be upon you. Ezekiel 8 and 17. Then he said unto me, has thou seen this, O son of man? It is a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abomination which they commit here. For they have filled the land with violence and have turned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. He wants you to know that branch is the coke. And it provokes them to anger and the violence they commit. Now, the judgment on the houses of such who engage in these practices and provoke God to anger Proverbs 14 and 11. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown. That is why their houses is getting wildfire and washed away. But the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. Proverbs 12 and 7. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. Proverbs 21 and 12. The righteous man wisely considers the house of the wicked, but God overthrows the wicked for their wickedness. Psalms 101 and 8, I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all the wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Last but not least, Habakkuk 3 and 13, Thou wentst forth for the salvation of thy people, even for salvation with thy anointed. Thou wounds the head of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the neck. Selah. And that is what God wants you to know why judgment is falling on certain, on people's houses, businesses, and cars, and homes, and possessions, and belongings, because they engage in the practices that provoke God to anger, and we're in the days of judgment. Have a blessed day.